Hi everyone, welcome back to Joanne Tech Lover. I'm Joanne and Nvidia invited me to their press event in Ascot UK, which was really cool because I've never been there. Anyway, Pascal is coming to laptops and I'll tell you what you need to know. Pascal is the most efficient GPU architecture out there thanks to its 16 nanometer manufacturing process and all the Nvidia R&D devoted to efficiency. So these are not mobile GPUs, these are full implementations and should perform similarly to their desktop counterparts. They may not be clocked as high, but they're still the fastest mobile GPUs out there. I'm sure you want to know the specs, so I'll jump right in. For the 1080 GPU, you get 2560 CUDA cores, a boost clock of 1733 MHz, and 8 gigs of GDDR5X running at 10 gigabits per second. The TDP is going to be similar to the 980. Next up is the 1070 GPU. It has 2048 CUDA cores, and it runs at 1645 MHz boost clock. The 8 gigs of GDDR5 memory can push 8 gigabits per second. And the TDP is roughly equivalent to the 980M. Lastly, we have the 1060 GPU. There's 1280 CUDA cores and the boost clock is 1670 MHz. The 6GB of GDDR5 memory runs at 8 gigabits per second. The TDP is like that of the 970M. These Pascal GPUs are capable of running above 60 FPS no matter what game you're playing. So they work with laptop display manufacturers and we now have 120 Hz displays. Games such as Overwatch, Doom, and Tomb Raider, among others, can easily hit over 120 FPS at 1080p. Nvidia says we can also expect some 2K or 1440p displays also running at 120 Hz. And of course, there's G-Sync compatibility. They demoed Gears of War 4, The Coalition, and it ran very smoothly at all resolutions. Overclocking is also possible on Pascal. They showed us an MSI laptop running a 1070, and they pushed the boost clock to 2063 MHz while playing Doom. You should be able to get between 200 to 300 MHz depending on the laptop. Over or under voltage is not possible due to the limitations of laptop power distribution. The GPUs need lots of clean power, so they develop something called dual FET that ensures higher power density so it drives more power to the GPU. Multi-phase power controllers focus on power efficiency. You may also see some laptops with higher boost clocks on the market because factory overclocking is possible. They've developed a power savings feature called battery boost. This allows you to choose between max FPS, max battery life, or a happy medium. You can tweak the settings to preserve your battery when gaming. Nvidia states that this is a 30% improvement over Maxwell. Moving on to VR, I got to try the game Raw Data, a co-op shooter in the demo room. It was pretty fun as I've never had a partner in crime when VR gaming. There were a couple glitches, like my partner was floating in the air, but otherwise the controllers worked. Note, these laptops are only VR ready when plugged in. Just like the Pascal desktop graphics cards, these GPUs are compatible with Nvidia VR Works and Ansel. In case you didn't know, Ansel allows you to capture in-game photos in a specific way. If enabled in the game, Ansel lets you take over the in-game camera, take screenshots, apply filters, and even upsize the image to 32 times your resolution. Beyond that, you can take 360 images to view in VR or review with the phone. There's a ton of variety of laptops you can purchase soon. Some are as thin as 18 millimeters and weigh only four pounds, while others are thick gaming laptops with larger cooling solutions. Nvidia said that the least expensive 1060 models will be around 1300 USD. The others will go up in price from there. I took a look at multiple laptops hosting GTX 10 series GPUs, so you have an idea of who's going to make what. They didn't have benchmarking available on the 1060s, but I did get some footage of benchmark results for the 1070 and 1080 laptops. That wraps up this look for the NVIDIA press event for their Pascal laptops. If you like what you saw and you want to see more like it, be sure to hit the like, comment, and subscribe buttons, as well as follow me on social media. Join Tech Lover Facebook, join Tech Lover again on Twitter, and join Tech Lover once more on Instagram. Also, be sure to check out my other YouTube channels, JTL Lifestyle, JTL Cuteness Overload, and JTL Love Life and Advice. I guess it's bye for now, and I'll see you next time.